I'm not exactly sure what to think here. Part of me wants to be excited, but then also at the same time, I don't want to hold my breath. I'm kind of expecting disappointment, but hoping for an amazing time. Nintendo just announced Kirby's Dream Buffet, and if you watch the trailer, you may see this looks to be taking inspiration from another fairly popular last man standing type of game, Fall Guys. I mean, there's no doubt about it. But Nintendo, I don't want to say they're just straight up like saying, hey, uh, let's rip off Fall Guys and, you know, bank on the success of that type of thing. Because Dream Buffet is actually a take on a previous Kirby game, Gourmet Race from Kirby Superstar on the Super Nintendo. It's just brought to the modern era with the Nintendo Switch anyway. But, I mean, the look of it, how it plays definitely has that Fall Guys feel to it. But essentially you're racing through these tracks type of thing, collecting food and you're growing type of thing. In the uh, Superstar version of the game, it was side scrolling and you raced and you collected food. You got to the end of the, the stage. There was a lot of uh, obstacles and stuff like that. And this is just putting that in the 3D realm with multiplayer. So it looks like it, it, it even says it's four players, but in some of the footage, it looks like there's maybe computer controlled characters. I'm not sure. So definitely not as big of a game as Fall Guys as far as the player count. And it does say it's multiplayer, but I, I would just have to assume it has to have online multiplayer. Like this can't just be a couch, you know, competitive type game. Uh, it has to be multiplayer online. It doesn't quite say that specifically anywhere, but another thing that I think needs to be cleared up is I've seen some articles reporting that this is going to be sold physical, but Nintendo never said that. In the actual uh, video and whatnot, it says it's gonna be available on the Nintendo Switch eShop, and in Nintendo's own descriptions, it says it's an exclusive eShop title. So yeah, it's not gonna be a physical game. And like, that was what my concern, not really concerned, but I was like wondering like, why would this be a retail title if it's gonna be like a multiplayer game that doesn't look like it has a ton of tracks. Maybe it has, you know, multiple sets of tracks, but it just doesn't look like a completely full game here. Nintendo with their like sports titles as of late, I mean, depending on how you want to look at it, a lot of people have said Nintendo's been pretty lazy with content. And I'm not saying this game is going to be lazy with content, but the immediate impressions that I get is that it's going to be a fairly small package. Like, it's going to be similar to Fall Guys. Maybe they'll have DLC seasons, maybe. I don't know where they add more tracks to it, but what we've seen so far, it looks cool. Don't get it twisted. But... Yeah, it's an eShop title. We don't know 100% if this is gonna be like some kind of Nintendo Switch Online, uh, you know, membership exclusive type of thing. Obviously, if it's online, you're gonna have to have Switch, you know, a Switch membership uh, to play it most likely. But yeah, that was one of the thoughts I had. Is this going to be one of those exclusive games where it's just like you get to download it, like Tetris 99, Pac-Man, Super Mario uh, 35 type of thing? Is it gonna be similar to that as it doesn't make it appear that way. This may just be a straight up purchase on the eShop. Maybe they're gonna go about it with the, it's a free download and you can buy additional stuff. I don't know, but it does look intriguing. You know, four players though, comparing to Fall Guys with, you know, how many players that game supports. Uh, you know, I was a fan of Fall Guys, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. When I first played it, when it first came out, it was a lot of fun. It was very addictive as well, but, it, you know, it kind of wore thin on me. Like, it, it, it's kind of one of those things where you get burned out playing it, and then you got to take a break and then revisit it after a while, and then it's fun again. I still play it on occasion. I just recently played it on the Nintendo Switch, and it's a lot of fun. It doesn't perform as great as other systems are on PC on the Nintendo Switch, but it's still fairly competent and a lot of fun, but it's just something that I can't play all the time. I have to give it a break and come back to it. And I think Kirby's Dream Buffet may be one of those flash in the pan type games as well. They continue to update it and add more tracks to it, obstacles, that kind of thing. That would be cool. But limiting it to four players, mm, you know, 
just a straight up four player race. I don't know how many people are going to like stick in it for the long haul. It may get a little boring after a short period of time, but we'll have to wait and see. It says it's releasing summer of 2022. So within the next couple months, I can't wait to play it as soon as it comes out. If it's free or if it's switch online or if you have to pay for it, I'm going to grab it and, you know, give it a shot and maybe, you know, if it's online, which it should be play with some of you guys. We'll do a little live stream action here. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of Kirby. You know, uh, you know Kirby's Forgotten Land, amazing game. Um, I haven't liked every single Kirby game, but there's been so many I've really enjoyed. I wish they would bring back like Kirby Pinball and that block ball game that was on the, uh, the Game Boy. Those games were freaking fantastic, man. Uh, I'm a Kirby fan. I'm a Kirby fan for sure. And I know a lot of people are. So let me know what you think with Kirby's Dream Buffet. Are you looking forward to this one? Roll through delicious food theme obstacle courses and four player matches. Collect strawberries to grow bigger and prepare for the final battle. So I guess you uh, you get to the end and you fight each other type of thing, right? Because I think in the uh, Super Nintendo version, the way, the way it worked, um, I haven't played it recently, but um, I guess I'll play it for this video to show some footage of it. But in that game, like you just collected food and got to the end and then it kind of like, it, it compared your points to the opponent type of thing. I don't remember there being a battle at the end, but that could be kind of cool. You know, like, you know, Fall Guys, not really a battle at the end, but it's, it's, you know, it's still last man standing. And this doesn't quite look like last man standing. It just looks like fattest man standing wins. You know, Kirby's known for sucking things up, eating all that food. So, you know, there's, it says strawberries, but it looks like there's cupcakes, donuts, and chocolate bars and stuff. Like in the original game, there was a bunch of different foods. So it would be kind of lame if it was just strawberries. I don't know. I'm looking forward to checking this out. Hopefully it's not a very slim game that they charge for. And if it is, it should just be free. But you never know. Nintendo can be a little greedy. But yeah, looking forward to it. Let me know what you guys think. Are you a Kirby fan? Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down below. And with that said, I will catch you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye. Check out some of my other videos. You know what I'm saying? Peace.